Rhode Island man accused of getting into a gunfight with Vermont State Troopers last month is back in Vermont tonight. 30 year old Brendan Sackle faced a judge day in New Hampshire shortly after he was released from the hospital. Hannah Cotter tells us what happened at the hearing. Sackle had been recovering in a New Hampshire hospital after he was injured during that shootout in Vermont, but police tell us this all started in Hopkinton. I've signed it. 30 year old Brendan Sackle appearing in a New Hampshire courtroom Wednesday via Webex, signing a waiver of extradition back to Vermont. Sackle had been recovering at a New Hampshire hospital after he was hurt during a shootout with Vermont State Police on July 14th. He's facing several charges in Vermont, including multiple counts of attempted aggravated murder and attempted aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. After investigators say he led them on a multi-state chase and collided with two state police cruisers before he began shooting at police. Hopkinton police tell us they alerted authorities in New Hampshire where they knew Sackle was on vacation after Sackle's neighbors told them they found a bullet lodged in their bedroom air conditioner. They say they thought they heard fireworks coming from Sackle's home next door a few weeks prior. Police say they found evidence of spent firearm cartridges at Sackle's home, as well as several illegal weapons and thousands of rounds of ammunition inside. And Sackle is being held without bail in Vermont, where he's scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow. Hopkinton police say once he's extradited back to Rhode Island, he will face additional charges here. Reporting in the studio, I'm Hannah Cotter, 12 News.